Hey everyone, Evil Twin Axe back again. Uh, today we're going to be switching gears up a little bit. My past few episodes have been about blacksmithing and, and welding. Today we're going to get back to casting. Uh, this is my furnace that I built. I want to do a couple of casting projects. My belt buckle I made for my dad uh, was a big hit and I have a ton of scrap aluminum piling up and I want to get to uh, melting that down and doing a couple of cool projects. However, there are a couple of things that I wanted to take care of on the foundry, uh, safety things and um, just uh, general maintenance that was sort of mentally holding me back. So I want to tackle that. So there's a few things I need to take care of on this foundry. Uh, it's been used maybe, actually not all that, uh, all that much, but uh, it's getting a little bit beat up on the inside. You just see here, it's uh, sort of disintegrating. And uh, this smooth part here, I had used a cement furnace and it, it held up well, but in other areas it just totally is falling apart. Uh, I don't know if what I'm going to do is going to fix it, but I want to try and get a little bit more longevity out of this if possible. This is the lid and this actually held up really well. Uh, I had these bumps here, but I think that's because when I had put this furnace cement on, it was a little wet and I had uh, sort of rushed the curing process. This is holding up really well, which is surprising because usually the lid is the first thing to go. Well, how am I gonna go about tackling repairing this? And I'm actually gonna do something that I just recommended another fellow YouTuber not to do. Uh, his name is S.W. Dweeb. He is new to YouTube. He is fixing up a Mustang. He's getting into backyard casting, and he's a beginner blacksmith. You should check him out. I'll put the link in, in the bottom. In any case, he was going to do what I did, do a skim coat of the furnace cement. I had problems with it. I said, maybe you shouldn't do it. Why am I going to use it? Well, because I have a tub of it on hand. You know, if you're getting into metal casting and it's your first furnace, here's a bit of advice from a noob. Don't worry about it being perfect. You want to know why? Because if you love this hobby, you're going to go through a couple of furnaces. Don't make it perfect. Make it functional and safe. This is the product that I used. It's a high temperature furnace cement. And uh, I don't know. I want to seal it up, see how it goes. Anyway, let's give it a shot. bit messy and it's not going to be neat in any sense uh, but maybe it might be a good idea to limit the amount of moisture that's going into this it recommends that you spray the surface down a little bit so that's what I've been doing and I'm just sealing it up as best I can wound up being easier to grab it right out of the tub and use my hands instead of a trowel to put it in yeah it's not pretty it's not pretty at all just angling it towards the sun. I want some of the moisture, added moisture that I put in to dry up before I try curing this. So I'm gonna let that dry. I wanna show you one other thing I did to the foundry. And it's really something I should have done right from the start. And I'm glad I did it, it was pretty easy. And let me show you. So this is my burner that I put together. And one thing I never had on this was a shutoff valve, which I have right here. Seems kind of silly that that was never really put on. Um, so I had to buy a shutoff valve and this quarter inch nipple to connect it before it was just connected directly from this line to, uh, to this little adapter that went right into this coupling. So I did test this out and it did work. And I'm glad I did that. I know, kind of dumb not having a shutoff valve. You live and learn. Luckily I didn't blow anything up.
think we're ready to fire this up. So let's fire this up. Done. I really like the way he turned out. The extra removal of rust and loose paint and, and the new paint job makes it look uh, pretty stiffy. I think if it looks better, it must run better, right? Uh, the inside is not perfect. Kind of looks like a lizard skin in there. You can see there is some cracking and some spalding, but it seems pretty good. And uh, these burn marks here are from the pebbles I used to lift the lid up when it was drying. I didn't want the lid to get stuck to the bottom of this. So even though I'm a, a, a noob, I am what I would consider an educated noob. The only thing I'm lacking is experience, which makes me, um, I guess, ahead of the curve. Shouldn't just rely on YouTube videos to learn something because you don't know how well informed the content creator is. Really go to the forums and ask specific questions. You'll get answers. By the way, the forum that I go to is alloyavenue.com. Check out the link. If you want to get into metal casting or if you are into metal casting and need a little bit more information, I highly recommend this website. I recommend doing your research first before giving anything a try. Ask questions, get educated, then go watch videos on how to build something. Evil Twin X really says do it. Do that. Do that. I'm not kidding. Do it. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this episode. I think my maintenance is done. Please like, comment, subscribe. That's, that's what we want on YouTube. Make me feel good. Anyway, now that this is wrapped up, I'm planning on melting a ton of these in here to make something cool. Evil Twin X saying, look, what do I always say? If I could do it, you could do it, right? So do it.